So last one for my challenge was to learn music production and try to create a song that you guys would like. It's really interesting doing such a creative challenge with a creative goal and outcome. So I wanna talk about four of the best lessons that I learned learning music production and how do you learn a creative skill. So the first point is balancing simplicity and complexity. Something that I was inclined to do was keep adding more. Should I add a little bit more drums, a little bit more bass, a little bit more riffs, a little bit more, you know, ups and all of these different things. I could always add something that kind of worked, but I was just making the sound sound more and more complex and more and more convoluted. And sometimes the master knows how to be as simple as possible. And they might strip it back to just the rawest ingredients and elements that it actually needs to sound really impactful. That's something that you often will find when you're new to something is you can be a little bit unnecessarily complex. Some amazing artists like Pablo Picasso, he could draw these beautiful, amazing portraits that were super realistic, but then he got into this new style of art and it looked so simple, but it was conveying a lot of message and it was less strokes and less detail, but the message was more significant and that's when his art really started to take off. I can relate to that in my drawing challenge as well, where sometimes I just wanted to keep working on a drawing and redo this eye and redo this and redo that. But realistically, sometimes I needed to learn when to stop and keep things simple and then move on to the next part of that challenge. So the second point is having fun with it. And now when you're doing a creative project, there can be a lot of learning and a lot of kind of strenuous boring, tedious activities. And so with music production, it was learning about all of the different dials and all of the different instruments and how to create sounds and, and how to save files properly. And that can be a little bit boring, but it was important for me to also balance that with things that were fun, like setting up an instrument and just jamming on that instrument for five minutes. it wasn't the most productive use of my time but it made me more engaged with the task and it made me more passionate about coming back to it and actually completing a full song. I get called every now and then by telemarketers so I thought it'd be funny to play my song to telemarketers and force them to listen to it. Do you mind if I play you a song and you tell me what you think? Song? Have a listen. But why sir? doesn't like my music. Well, that's some feedback. It's a free consultation. A free consultation on solar power. Right. Do you like music? Music, yeah. Yeah. Do you mind uh, telling me what you think of this track? Yeah. Have a listen, right? you got to make sure you wait for the drop. The drop's coming. Wait for it. Wait for it. He said I was a very good musician, but he hung up. This is the third call today. Very cool! The third point is authenticity. When you're doing something creative, you're going to be inspired by a lot of different sources. That can really sometimes overtake you to start creating music that sounds like what should be on the radio or sounds like what you're listening to and you're not actually creating something that sounds good to you and something that's interesting to you. So it's really important to find that level of authenticity and keep thinking about, does this actually sound good to me? Is this actually something that I'm proud to create? What am I actually trying to convey here? And that's a common challenge with creative projects is sometimes you can get it so inspired by other people that you forget about the message that you're really trying to deliver and it starts to become less authentic and more of a close replication. So with me, I really wanted to pull in this classical element, which is something that I love and mix that with the dance track. And that was something new to me it's something that I hadn't really heard before and it was fun and interesting to me and that was kind of the main idea that I was trying to convey in my track. When you're learning to skateboard, you get feedback because you try to ollie and then you fall over and you clearly didn't do it right. Or you try to backflip and you land on your head and that's your feedback from the world saying, hey, you're not actually nailing that technique. 
But with creative projects, it's hard to actually know, are you doing things well or are you doing them terribly? With my music production project, it was really interesting hearing what you guys had to say. And some of the feedback that I got was, it was a little bit messy and it didn't really sound professional. Maybe people liked the chorus or liked the intro, but there was other areas that didn't really fit into the song. I can take that feedback on board and filter that and say, can I see what these people are trying to say? Another example where feedback was really important to me was in my stand-up comedy challenge, where I would write a joke and I would think it's funny, but I don't really know it's funny until I get feedback from an audience. So I need to perform it to see, do people actually find what I'm writing and what I'm saying funny? And so creative projects, it's important to have a mechanism for feedback so that you can reflect on that and then keep moving towards something that's going to be better and better. In the book, Creativity Inc., the guy that started Pixar wanted to get more feedback with their animations. So they're making these huge budget movies. They actually created a system in their process to get feedback from their stories. So they would make a really broken up, simple version of a story, they'd play it to an audience, and then they would see what their approval rating is. And they would keep changing the story time and time again until it got over a certain number before they would actually create the finished product. And that's how a movie like Up started as a completely different idea, but when they tested it, it didn't work. And then they reiterated and reiterated until they finally got a really amazing end product, being one of the highest rated Pixar movies that was ever made. Up. There's a lot to think about when it comes to learning something creative. Obviously, if you're having fun, if you're progressing, that's the main thing. And if you've got any other tips or tricks, I'd love for you to let me know in the comments below. And as always, happy learning. Yeah.